Stephen, I, I saw one to take at the end. What was your uh, reflections on the game as a whole? I thought the boys were fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Um, unfortunately, didn't see the, the game out. Six minutes extra time. I, I mean, there's got to be some serious injury for six minutes extra time. Subs were made at the same time. Um, but ultimately, we didn't hang on, and I have to give credit. It was a heck of a finish. But, um, you know, what we'll obviously look at is our points tally. We're same points as fifth. Um, and um, listen, the boys have absolutely everything as usual, as they do every single week. So it's a sore one to take, uh, of course. But um, you still got to look at the points tally and the start we've had. And, and I thought the performance was very good as well. Playing against ten men is difficult, but you know we changed shape. We scored an obviously cracking goal, um, and we just didn't manage to hang on. You know, I'm not going to look deeper into it than that. There are some very, very good things in it. Um, People aren't stupid, they can see the, the level of efforts that are going into it. So, proud of the boys and we'll go again on, on Saturday morning. Yeah, no, I, I suppose emotions always high after the way the game finished like that. But if you take stock of, of how we started the season, you know, best start to the league in this current format. You know, we're sitting on 20 points after 14 games. It took us until January last year to, to reach that points tally. And just again, it was just one of those things tonight. So it's the best start in about 30 years, then, is it? Yeah, incredible. I'm, I'm still getting people heckling behind saying it's the same old, then. Um, no, it's certainly not. It's been a, a terrific start for the football club. People have to have realism what we are, where we are, um, the finances we're dealing with. This is a, a good football club, but there has to be realism with it as well. We've got a terrific group of boys that are running and fighting for the badge every week. Um, 20 points after this start is good. We, we're aggrieved, we feel we should have more. You know, and we're 10 seconds away from, from sitting in fourth place, but we've got the same amount of points as fifth. As I say, not too high and not too low. We're, we're winning and losing. We just need to continue to keep trying to improve, keep trying to take the club forward. Um, as I say, it's a good start. You've just given me there as the best start in this current format. So, you know, I think the vast majority of fans see that as well. You know, when you've got boys that are giving everything, there's a lot of quality there as well tonight. And, you know, on a crack and goal, that probably should have won the game. But we got punished in the last 30 seconds of a game that lasted six minutes longer. Um, we got punished by another penalty first goal that there was a, a handball in the lead up to it you know um, our lads are honest lads we've seen it back and you know you wonder how far does VAR go back it's from the, the APP when we the attacking phase starts there's a handball in it as well so we've certainly not had any luck along the way and we still managed to have 20 points after this amount of games so I believe the season evens itself up so we're we're doing a lot of luck as well as good performances coming forward or going forward sorry yeah and I mean like you say we're, we're joint fifth at the minute you know we've, we've got a good points tally already how important has it been to put those points on the board massive because there will be spells when we we don't win games you, you know get hit by injuries and as I say hopefully we've had all our bad luck because it seems to have, have come in the last six weeks and I think is that our seventh penalty somebody told me is our seventh penalty conceded and the rule has to be looked at you know you're watching the games last night Livy and Aberdeen and there's penalties every week I actually feel sorry for the referees because they have to make these decisions these are the rules but it has to be looked at it's spoiling the game every week now hit somebody's fingernail it's a penalty nobody knows actually what's going on and you know if it's clear and obvious why does it take three and four minutes to make the decision and why is there only two minutes added time in the first half but six in the second half when there isn't hardly any stoppages so um, yeah lots of questions remain unanswered but ultimately we look at ourselves um, and we should have seen it out and we didn't but as you say, points tally is good. Performances have been very good, and it's something certainly to build on. And you know, we go into the game on Saturday confident. Yeah, and I mean, tonight was a played under very difficult conditions. It can't be easy to play football when the the wind and rain are swirling like that. Yeah, it was horrible for both sides, not just for ourselves. Um, St Johnson are a good side. They've just come off the back of a win against Rangers. So you know, you look at the talent in their squad. I thought Nicky Nicky Clark's finish was outstanding. It kills me to say it, but it was. It was outstanding. Um, and listen, it's it's difficult to play. We did when they went down to ten men. They're camped in again. Difficult to break teams down, but we did. And I just ultimately we didn't hang on in the end, you know. So we'll pick the boys up. We'll be in tomorrow afternoon again, arm around them because they know they've played well. They know um, they maybe didn't get their just rewards tonight. So let's use that and make up for it on Saturday. Yeah, and a big one on Saturday, the last one before the World Cup break. Yeah, we want to end on a high. Tough game for us, you know, we're under no illusions, but, you know, we've shown we can beat Celtic here, um, so why not? And I think it's, it's important, again, to look at the home form. All right, tonight was a draw, and it, and it hurts the way it, it happened, but, I mean, that's only one loss in the league this season at home. Five wins, two draws. Yeah, an incredible record. You know, credit to the players and the staff. Um, 
you know, people don't get a lot of credit around the club where, you know, working their socks off. So, you know, if we can turn a little bit of that form, um, even by 50% away from home, then we'll have a decent season. Stephen, thanks for your time. Cheers, James.